there's a required practical that only triple physics students have to do about thermal insulation. And basically you have to investigate one of the four factors which affect the rate of heat transfer. You're just allowing hot water to cool, you're measuring the temperature of the water with a thermometer at set time intervals. Remember what we're measuring and what we're measuring it with. We measure the time with the stopwatch. Then we plot a graph of temperature against time and we call these cooling curves. So temperature change against time, we call this a cooling curve or a heating curve it could be as well if it were working in the opposite direction. The steeper the gradient, the higher the rate of heat transfer. So the four factors which affect the rate of heat transfer, memorize them, are thickness, layers, conductivity, and color or luster. That's how, what, how dark it is or how shiny it is. In this practical, there's a risk of a scold when using hot water. Scolds are much worse than burns. If you were to have a scold, then you were to wash that under the cold tap immediately. And scolds are particularly bad because of the high specific heat capacity of water. So this is an example of where you may have to assess the risk in an exam. And you have to actually maybe give a safety precaution that somebody would do. If there was to be a scold, then we would wash that under cold water. You could get around that risk by not starting with scalding hot water, by actually starting from a temperature around 60 degrees, which is unlikely to cause serious skin damage. When we're doing this practical, it's very difficult to just change one of these materials. So my pro tip here is you have to think about a way that you can just change the thickness, or just change the number of layers, or just change the conductivity, or just change the color and luster. So if we use a different material, so we have a different conductivity, it tends to have a different color. So how would you get around that? If we were to use a different material, then one material may come in different thicknesses. If we were to use different layers, we're also increasing the thickness of our insulation as well. So it's very difficult. So for example, one way that they've thought about this to keep the thickness the same whilst changing materials is to have actually two beakers, one small and one large, and stuff the space between the two beakers with that material so that the thickness remains the same and we've still got one layer and well, they've still got the same color because the glass outer color potentially. We've gone as far as we can to try and control the other three of these and when we just change one variable. These are those cooling curves that we're talking about. We have time measured in minutes. It's enough to take readings every one or two minutes for this practical and um, they all limit the heat transfer by particles and we can then analyze which one had the highest rate of cooling. So the bottom line has done the worst job of being an insulator. It's had the highest rate of cooling. Notice the graph does not start at zero because it's never going to actually reach zero degrees Celsius if we leave some water in a room. It's pointless us showing that. We just have lots of blank space on the graph. So start your graphs from somewhere sensible. It doesn't always have to show zero on the axes. This one, for example, the top might be have been two layers, the second one might have been one layer, and the third one might have been no insulation at all. Now, when we're talking about analyzing that and explaining why it is that the different layers cause different rates of cooling or any of those factors have different rates of cooling, then we can talk about heat transfer by either particles or by radiation. So thickness, conductivity, and layers, they all limit heat transfer by particles. That's by particles knocking into each other and therefore transferring the heat energy. Color or luster, they limit heat transfer by radiation. So there's actually a different heat transfer. That radiation is infrared. And remember, dark matte materials, they emit more infrared. They emit infrared at a higher rate, I should say.